<laughs> okay. So we got a big update here. This is on the captures update. So if you're somebody who uses captures on your Xbox, whether you use the share button or you program a button in your elite controller to do, you know, screen recording or screenshots or videos or whatever the case may be, or to share them, this update is going to be very useful for you. So we're going to go over it. Now, if you don't have captures here on the front, that's because you just haven't been in your captures app recently. You can go there by going to my games and apps and looking for it in your apps or there's a shortcut here by going over to where it says capture and share and then when you click on recent captures if you pull the trigger it'll jump you down here to where it says show all and then that'll take you right into the captures app as well so it's kind of a quick way to get there now if you've been in here before you probably recognize all of the categories that run along the top but i'll just kind of touch on them really quickly um, we're looking at everything on the xbox network that is both captures of both games clips and screenshots and then every single game that I have a screenshot or a video capture for is listed here as well. You'll notice that if I change this over to Xbox console and then click on all games, the only thing I have on here now is Fortnite because I only have Fortnite on this console. So this changes with the context of what you have selected. Um, so just be aware of that. But you can kind of just basically look through here. You can click on these. You can get more options by pressing the hamburger button if you want. There's different things here. If you want to manage them one at a time, you can do that. Otherwise, you want to go over here to where it says manage. And this is where things got a lot better for me anyways. And I'll explain what that is in just a second. But first, I've had this issue before, like where I have so many captures on the Xbox network that I fill it up, right? Now, how much storage you get, that's up for debate, I think. But I believe it has to do with like how many games uh, licenses you have for games. And then you get so much storage for that. Um, as you buy more games, you get more storage to kind of keep offsetting it, but then they don't give you a whole bunch of storage if you don't have any games to use it with or whatever. It's kind of how it works, I think. So anyways, I'm using 53% of what I have available to me, and that's good to know because if it gets really full and I want to upload something to the network so that I can share it to my friends or download it to my phone or whatever the case may be, I need to be able to get it on the ne Xbox network to do that. If the network storage is full, I can't. And so then I have to go through and before like upload it all to OneDrive or try to figure out what I wanted to delete and all that stuff. Now it's way easier. I can just hit select all and I go down here. And if I have my external storage set up like a USB external storage that's compatible with the Xbox, I can just plug it in and I can send all 138 of these clips to that storage, get them backed up, get them saved, whatever, move them onto my computer. It's way easier. I'm not going to do that though, because it'll take forever. As I select these, you'll see that I have different options available. So now I'm on the Xbox network. So when I click on this, you'll notice that it says trim is one of my options. And then if I click on this, you'll notice that it stops at rename and I don't have trim. And the reason for that is, is because this clip is only on the Xbox network not on this console so only things on the console get trim if it's on both it'll have trim if it's only on the network uh like this one is i'm only going to get rename so if you're looking at and then the same thing goes with like a photo you'll notice that it has set as background copied external storage there's some other options here but if you don't see all of these options the sorting of that matters and that's probably why um just so that you can understand sort of what you're seeing here if you're following along with this video and you're like hey i saw he had trim and i'm trying to trim my clip and i can't that's why because it's probably just on the network so but definitely a big update for me i definitely appreciate being able to select more than one of these let me know what you guys think down in the comments below again if you have more questions about like maybe a workflow to do this if you're trying to become a youtuber if you're trying to save your gameplay or if you want to upload clips or sharing to social media and stuff. I've got some ideas about like how I use it. And so if you're interested in that, talk about it down below and I'll formulate a video and answer some of those questions. Maybe give you a shout out or whatever and credit where it's due and let you know that it's been posted. Um, we can do that, but definitely a pretty good update to the captures. I'm, I'm really digging it, especially, like I said, my biggest thing is just being able to dump everything onto a USB drive and get it onto my computer and have it all backed up and be done with it. So anyway, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or whatever, leave them down below and I'll catch you in the next video. And I appreciate the support. Thanks for sticking around.